Hi, today I'm going to show you how to put artificial intelligence, uh, so-called AIs, game script settings, so you have, so you can get some opponents and how to call them enemies in OpenTTD 1.6.1. Uh, the easiest way to do that is by the the game's interface. You can download it directly from the from the inside the game. You need the internet connection, and you can download it from this option here, AI Game Script Settings. So, I already have uh, four active artificial intelligences or AIs. Uh, the the one I love the most is Admiral AI because it gives me much more options to manipulate with it so and it covers all the all the genres of transport so you get one component that uh, that competes with you both in uh, train transport air transport and land transport also in sea transport okay now i'm going to put i'm going to download one AI from the internet directly via the game. So we are going to click on check online content. Uh, the ones with uh, green dot on the left side of the of the name of the AIs are the ones that I already have. So I'm going to download one AI. No matter what, I just want to do this to show you how to how to put them and how to configure the AIs. Let's see. Let's download this one, Clueless Plus. Uh, the size of these of these AIs is very small. It's not more than like uh, 200 kilobytes. It's very small, it's very fast, it won't take any resources and stuff. So let's download this one, Clueless Plus. Uh, I wanna do that, I wanna check here in this little box to to check to download it. So now this Clueless Plus is checked and it's ready to download. Once it there is a this mark, the red mark in the in the box. And now I wanna press download. Now it's downloading, see? And download is complete. Okay. Now what should we do to to make these AIs active. So you need to press also here again press here AI game script settings and the uh, maximum number of competitors press to one. It's for instance if you if you downloaded like five or six AIs and you want them all to be active then you will put a maximum number of competitors to the number that you download it so if you download five AIs you'll put five if you download the three you'll put three uh, so you put how many you want but we will put just uh, we are going to put just one now and okay we'll put actually two just to show you how to configure and everything so we will put two and uh, we are going to click on uh, on one of these to change it to our Clueless Plus AI that we downloaded a minute ago. So let's see, let's choose this one, Borg AI and select AI. See, Clueless Plus is on the list. Click on the Clueless Plus and click accept. Uh, by the default, those AIs will be will be active in the game after 700 and I think 30 days, so it's Routely two years, near to two years. Uh, I wanna, I want them to start after one day of playing in game. So we are going to click on the Clueless Plus again and click on configure. So see this option: number of days to start this AI after the previous one, give or take 730. The previous AI is actually it means that we are the previous one. We are going to put that to like um, like one day or maybe ten days okay we'll put to one day number of days to start this AI after the previous one okay 
In these options here you can uh, manipulate uh, enable road vehicles if you want that your AI use trucks uh, and stuff. Enable aircrafts, okay we are going to enable the aircrafts also but I'm not sure if this AI has any script to make uh, air transport inside. Uh, connect towns only, allow competi competitions against existing transport links, blah blah blah. Allow usage of drive through enable AIGS communication with support of no cargo debug debug. We will just put it to do its work by the default. So we put it the number of days to start this AI. So it we 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 used only one day. So even we start the game then after the one day of the playing the game this AI will begin it, it will make the company it will make it its own company and it will start to to compete so close this since we already figured it out it's one day so close this and Admiral AI we will put uh, a little bit later we'll put like we'll put 31 days see AI this by the default Admiral AI uses buses uses trucks uses aircraft it's all by the default of the script so maximum number of competitors uh, Admiral AI clueless plus those are the two AIs that are going to start in the game close this go to the new game uh, let's put a small map just to show you how it does generate now as our map is getting generated, there were no suitable places for water tower industries. Change the map. Oh, this is not important for this tutorial. Here is the land. Um, we are going to fast things a little bit up. We are going to make like one station just to be active in the game. Blah blah blah. Um, let's do this for instance okay we are going to speed the things up and now see clueless starts constructions admiral ai starts con constructions so our bot ais are active now you can see the active ais like this Eastburn Springs Transport Company 1, that's our company. Admiral AI and KO, it's our competitor and Clueless is also our competitor. See, Clueless already made the station for the bus, bus station. And the Admiral AI made some train station, probably to transport copper ore. So in short, that's it. I showed you how to download the. <coughs> sorry, I showed you how to download the AIs via the interface in the game. It's very easy. It's not complicated. You get everything inside. So I hope this showed you a little bit about this, and I hope you will enjoy in your AIs. But be careful. AI will always be a little bit stronger than you. Not every AI, I mean like Admiral AI, it's very strong AI, it's very tough to compete with because it covers all the ranges of transport and but it's fun. It's it's you are not you are not alone anymore in the game. You can put some like goals inside and stuff. It's very good actually. I like it very much. So thanks for watching this video. If you have some uh, questions and everything related, just type in the comments or send the private message, it's not a problem. I will answer as soon as I can and uh, thanks and have a nice time. Bye.